there's been something of a feeding frenzy over the purloined emails from the University of East Anglia in England. Uh, these are the emails uh, taken from climate scientists uh, that suggest, at least if you look at a few of them uh, in isolation, that uh, data was massaged to make it seem that uh, the Earth's temperatures are warming uh, perhaps more than they actually were or in ways that cover up in the most recent years some actual global cooling. Uh, this is an important possible revelation uh, because uh, trillions of dollars of public policy are now moving across the globe toward reining in uh, so-called greenhouse gas emissions, carbon dioxide, um, uh, and it will uh, be very expensive uh, in terms of higher energy costs and make very big changes to prevent global warming. And if global warming isn't happening, uh, then that's a lot of money that's been wasted. <clears throat> it turns out, I think, though, that uh, even if uh, one or two scientists who are now under investigation uh, tried to uh, hide some important data, that the consensus of scientists over the last decade or more will not be changed, and that is that the Earth, in fact, is warming in large part because of human activities. Um, as a result, the direction of public policy in the United States and in other major countries will continue to move in the same direction, and that the East Anglia emails will be mostly a sideshow. Uh, it does spark uh, religious-like fervor among the people who either believe or disbelieve in global warming, but the major political leaders, the people who make policy, do believe that the globe is warming and they will no doubt act on it.